Hello, hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with the first in a series of videos about card sketches or card layouts. I've been creating a whole bunch of these which I'm going to share with you over the coming weeks and I hope you will find them useful for those times where Mojo just does one and runs off. So I'm going to start with the one on the left here today and just a quick warning, I am going to go quick because I just wanted to keep these brief but uh, do remember you can pause, rewind, rewatch and all of that. I'm going to be using these papers from Stamperia, it's called House of Roses and there's some beautiful papers in here so they're going to be my uh, inspiration point. I chose three from the pack, that's those three you just saw and I'm going to start trimming down. If you want exact measurements I'm going to leave those on my blog gentlemancrafter.com and I'll leave a link to that in the description below the video um, but generally I'm kind of working with a 6x4 card and working in uh, eighths or quarter inches so they're fairly easy measurements. I'm just using some distress ink to uh, edge the paper to give it a bit more dimension and I've chosen the peacock feathers as it worked well with the colour scheme on the papers themselves. And you can see there it kind of works well with that blue paper. For sticking my layers I'm going to be using the pin flare book binding glue. I just find it's uh, a brilliant glue for quick adhesion and it doesn't bubble or warp your papers. You can use whatever you like though. If you prefer tape runners or double sided tape, that's up to you. Okay, that's my background layer on. And to keep it flat, I was just putting a bit of uh, heavy plastic on the top. And I'm now gonna start trimming down the individual elements that go into the layout. Again, this is just a sketch idea. You don't have to go with exact measurements and you can tailor it to whatever size card you want to work with. So as I said, I'm working with a 6x4. You could translate this to a 5x7 or if you're in the UK, an A6 or an A5 card. It's just really a way of inspiring a bit of creativity when you're sort of sat looking at the craft stash and thinking, what on earth am I going to make? We've all been there. Okay, there's my bits and pieces. I'm gonna use the same ink, the Peacock Feathers Distress ink, to give a little shading to the edges of those strips as well. It can take away the um, whiteness of the edge and also really just gives it a bit of extra tone and dimension, in my opinion. You don't have to do this, you can do whatever you want. So back in with the glue. There we go, that's the first two parts in. And with that little swatch there, I'm going to just give it a bit of ink around the edges again to give it dimension. Um, but I'm also going to use foam pads to raise it up off the front of the card. I use the Sellotape Sticky Fixers as I find them the best foam pads. Okay, I wanted to add a little sentiment, so I've just randomly picked something out from my stamp collection. These were actually a freebie from the cover of a magazine, but again, of course, you can use anything you've got in your stash. I probably overdid it with the size of white card there, but whatever. <laughs> okay, just using a square die there and sticking it in place with some masking tape as I run it through the die cutting machine. It's going to go 
just offset to the top left corner of the little coloured swatch on the front of the card and again just using some of that peacock feathers distress ink to tie that together with the rest of the, the design. Using a foam pad in one corner and some glue in the other so that it sits level with the coloured swatch. If you're enjoying this video by the way don't forget as I mentioned I will have a lot more of these card sketch ideas coming up over the coming weeks so do remember to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of when the new videos get uploaded. Of course if you'd prefer you can always head over to the blog gentlemancrafter.com and subscribe to my email notifications list there as well or instead whichever works for you. Okay, so I've just grabbed some flower dies. These are Sizzix Tim Holtz uh, floral dies here. So I'm just going to cut them from some of the paper that's actually in the pack as well from Stamperia. And I've chosen a paper that's kind of got graduated colour so that when I do the layers of the flower, uh, they will work together very well. There's that pack, by the way. They're the thin lips. And you get loads of dies in that pack. And I think it was about a tenner. Just cutting the leaves from some of the cardstock that I used to create the swatch. Again, using the same colours kind of ties it all together. And I'm going to give those a little bit of shape just with a ball tool and the palm of my hand. Using some of the book binding glue there, tiny amounts really do stick well with this so you don't have to soak it with PVA or anything like that. Just a quick dab and you're done. So now it's just really a case of adding decoration to that swatch and this can be uh, anything you want. As you can see I'm using the floral dyes and the leaves to create a little bouquet but you can use whatever you've got in your stash. Could be some decoupage, could be a die cut embellishment, whatever you fancy. I'm also going to be using some gems and I've got a pack of randomly coloured rainbow gems here so that I can always find something that's useful with whatever papers I'm using. Tiny dots of that book binding glue work really well to stick these to the card and the glue dries clear as well so you don't see any of the little blobs that come out. I'm also going to be use a, using a couple of um, fancy headed pins here as well just to add a little something extra and to fix those in place and give them some dimension I've used the pin flare glue gel uh, that's like a, CD, a 3D silicon glue without the smell and so they dry upright. I'm just going to pop something underneath while the glue sets. And then I will fix the rest of the flowers in place. And to finish this, what I thought was a couple of gems in the flowers and I actually did go ahead and cut a couple of extra leaves to fill out that bouquet. So there we go, one card sketch layout ready to inspire. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.